What's up, big kids? Nigger fanboy ninety here, and I'm back. I'm back. I'm back with another video. Oh, 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 oh yeah. I'm just gonna be just coming up with some just dumbass excuses as to why I do shit and. I don't give a fuck. Bitches, bitches, bitches. If you like my, if you like my word choice, fuck you. You can shut this up your ass. Yeah? Okay? I'm gonna be doing an unboxing video just because I feel like it and fuck it. I'll do whatever the fuck I want. I'm gonna be unboxing one video game. That's right. I'm just gonna be doing a boxing on one video game because it's totally worthwhile. It's not totally worth it or anything to any way, shape, or form. It's totally not gonna be the most interesting thing in the world. It's not gonna be totally pointless or anything. Okay? Let's just open this bitch up even though it's. Pretty much, everyone's can, can possibly on this game. Yeah, just it's got plastic, just plastic coating over it. It's just this is gonna be the most annoying thing in the world. To open, cause fuck plastic is stupid. And just outright ban it. Okay, I got I got the video game box open. Let's see what's inside a video game box. Just a standard video game box. The most interesting in the world. Yeah, like no, it's not like anyone can just grab a video game box off any any kind of any kind of store shelves whatsoever and just open it, see what's inside for themselves. Let's see, we got a game disc. We got a game disc that's inside the game box, and we got a instruction manual. A complete fucking waste of paper this is. And we got uh, a Square Enix code. Just a code. That's that's all it is. That's that's what it is for. Yeah. Just And that was the unboxing of my video game. I guess that any anyone, anyone can do this. This has been Nigger Fanboy Nighty. I am Okay. Being completely serious now. <laughs> now that um, satirical nonsense is over. You talk such nonsense, my boy. That can, yeah, can be serious here. Unboxing just one video game is bar none the biggest waste of uh, people's time I can ever imagine. I mean, why the fuck even do it in the first place? We all know what comes on a video game box. Especially when it comes down to Switch games. We know all that's going to be inside is a tiny game card a shit ton of plastic that didn't need to be used. And help. You know what? I'm, I've got something for you. I'm just gonna turn on my, my webcam now. I, I got something for you. See this? 3DS box? They could have just done this. And the Switch games are roughly around this size. As you all should know. And Switch games don't even have a um, instruction booklet. And yeah, inside the box does have artwork. But come on now, does it really justify using all that plastic? And on top of that, like anyone can get a video game and just open it up like, oh, okay, here, here's the game. And just be done with it. I mean, it's not like a loot crate box, a loot, ah, a loot crate box where not everybody can get that. Especially not that box for a particular month. So it makes sense to do an unboxing of the contents 
of a loot crate box. Help! It'd be worth a while to get an unboxing video done on a video game's monthly box. Because that shit's done by case by case basis. Not everyone's gonna get the same games in the same box. So that makes sense. Hell, I'd even go as far as to say special edition video game bundles. Makes sense. Not everybody's gonna be able to get that. Right? Since deluxe editions tend to cost out the wazoo. So it makes sense just to say, hey, you know what, I'm gonna unbox this. Um, it, it comes with this stuff, it, 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 I get, um, oh, look at there, I get this special little thing, right here. That makes sense, but if you're just gonna grab a standard video game and do an unboxing video of that, it'd be no different than to say, I'm gonna do an unboxing of my deodorant. Here. There, there's my deodorant. And I'll bend. Smells actually pretty good. So yeah. There is the unboxing of my deodorant. <laughs> do you see how pointless that is? Any schmo can do that. Or, I didn't necessarily need to use Final Fantasy 13 as an example. I could have just done something stupid like Final Fantasy 8 or Miley Cyrus. I was going to bring this by the way, but I decided against it. I could have used anything as an example of shit that anybody can get. Oh, and before you ask, me saying nigger fanboy Nandy, I guess he can, okay, I'm guessing he can piece this together, or at least I hope he can, but that's kind of a fuck you to those who think they can tell me what not to say, okay? And that being said, and, oh, uh, something else I gotta address. Getting butthurt over um, corrections because this actually has to do with um, the um, person who did the unboxing video I did that satirical unboxing of. He was, he was the one who made the argument of, oh, you have to be an English teacher to correct someone's grammar. Or, this is, an, this is an English class, so you cannot correct my grammar. I said this once before, and I'll say it again. Like, hell, I've even noted it in a comment on someone else's video. It's like saying, you cannot talk about um, technical aspects of a video game because you're not a program slash, a programmer slash developer. Or it's like saying, you can't touch the engine of my car because you're not a career engineer. That's kind of how dumb that argument is. And I have to use air quotes. It's not really an argument. Anyway, that's all I had to say. That's what the fuck not to do. Episode 2, because I really didn't intend this to be serious. And if I come across something ridiculous again, there's got to be an episode three. Take it, take it easy. Oh, and <laughs> just like the last satirical video, someone can't handle satire. So, if you thumb this video now, I know you can't handle satire as well.